It's controversial. Having that guy around is the best thing that ever happened to the squad. If you have the right mix of autism and steroids, all these pundits and whatnot, a lot of people doubting me, you know. I don't want to fucking have a conversation while I'm sharing, you know, like, the hobby I do is already so gay. You are now listening to the El Segundo Podcast with Craig Jones. Last time I got a tattoo, I was crying nonstop. It dragged the tattoo out for maybe seven, eight hours. I needed something to ease the soreness this time. We got stuck into the new mood cannabis product. This time we went the Bubba Kush. And so far I've had multiple naps during this one. I barely feel a thing. Mood provides federally legal Delta 8 and Delta 9 products. They have uh, vapes, pre-rolls, gummies, and bud as well. Euphoric, energized, or chill? Choose the mood that's right for you. Order your THC products from Mood today. And for 20% off your first order and free gummies, go to hallowmood.com and use the promo code F. Craig Jones. That's hallowmood.com. Promo code F Craig Jones for twenty percent off your first order and free gummies. We 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 started it pretty high with Lachlan and Gunner, and now we've uh, mm-hmm. we're scraping the barrel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Moving Nick, down in the world <laughs> with Nicky Ryan. <laughs> Nicky Ryan's here. Uh, what were we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the traumatic experience of six ankle locks in a round. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was that was probably the angriest. Uh, that's the angriest I've been since the No Gizzy kill in, <laughs> in New York, for sure. That's the angriest I've seen you recently that we can talk about in a public setting, for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely up there. Six is a lot, eh? Like I was thinking the other day, like my forearm and my shoulder are just sore from submitting it. <laughs> At least I got something out yeah. of it. <laughs> something that sounds, to like, a, that sounds like a win. <laughs> I got a message later in the day, and he's like, "I was so upset about that. I wanted to take a value." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was really close to taking a value and to fucking calm down for the rest of the day. That's for sure. <laughs> that's a victory. I wish that was. I wish I was traveling for like the next three months or something, and that was the last round we had. Oh, uh, dude, I would lose it. Fuck. He, he tra- <laughs> he'd find a way to travel with you if that was the case. Sure. Yeah, for I'd, I'd sure. show up wherever you're going for sure. <laughs> yeah, Switzerland too. Yeah. <laughs> he'd, uh, he'd be there. We tried to do a live stream last night, but the um, we struggled with the technology, yeah. yeah. Yeah, everyone was saying the audio was shit. Yeah. Well, it was a good thing, too, because J-Rod lost, so we could just... Yeah, good excuse to, <laughs> <laughs> to get the bug out of there. Yeah. As long as we got high-quality footage of Nicky Rod spilling coke all over himself. Yeah, I have to look at that. He dropped his pizza, then dropped his soda, opened it up, and it just fucking yeah, exploded <laughs> <Yeah>. on him. <laughs> it was too good. That event was interesting, though. Hey, what was it? Blue Collar FC. So yeah. the backstory to that was uh, that was run by the fight sports student that got his neck broken. Mm-hmm. Ben. Ben. Ben Clemson. Well, you know the story about how he got his neck broken? Uh, from what I've heard, he shot a fireman uh, takedown on Roosevelt. Roosevelt sprawled and then hurt his neck, allegedly. That's kind of what I heard. Was Hannah Gracie involved in the testimony? <laughs> After this, <laughs> if he finds this evidence, he might freaking... He might fucking get on there. <laughs> I mean, the mats looked slippery. You think? Yesterday? If, yeah. They oh, should yeah. have really... I yeah, know, look like ice skating, eh? I yeah, wonder who they're elevated now. stage yeah. with, and it looked like just like a tarp, like barely. Uh, yeah. Do you think is... you perform better on those mats because of your extensive history of roller skating? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I fucking hate slippery mats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was wild, that eh? Was wild. Jay doesn't help matters because he's got enough coconut oil in his hair to make you know that's gonna slip, that's gonna drain down onto the mats. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely definitely tough. I chatted with him a little bit. Yeah, he said he had a hard time getting shots off. Um, yeah. Dude, yeah, it changes a lot when they're that slippy. I remember, yeah, on WNO with my match with PJ. I spent the whole match trying to, like, wrestle up and put him down, and then I finally put him down with a single leg and just immediately slip on the mats and almost face plant and get Jeez. back up, and I was like, great. You might have an opportunity to do that match again in Tokyo. <clears throat> That's true. Yeah, it would be a, a rematch, yeah. Oh, shit, that's true. 
I've told the quintet people to make sure the mats are as slippery as possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That'll be good, though. We go to Tokyo on Wednesday. Um, Nicky Rod, when we told him to come to Japan, he asked if it was dangerous. <laughs> I said, it's not 1945. <laughs> yeah. He legitimately thinks Japan is like, I don't know, like uh, Afghanistan or something. Like He thinks he's in danger there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he doesn't travel much, right? He doesn't really like traveling outside the U.S. No. Stock standard American. Yeah, yeah. I think he's only been to like the U.K., right? Outside the oh, U.S. Yeah, he did the Polaris match with uh, Luke. Against Luke. I think he's been a couple times to the U.K. Yeah. A couple times. Yeah, yeah. Polaris. EBI was in El Paso. He kind of confirmed that for me. I thought it was in Mexico, but it was in El Paso. So almost Mexico. That's Yeah, that's that's pretty far, El Paso. <laughs> I mean, it's an eight-hour drive away. That's, yeah. That could be another country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I remember when we asked him about moving to Puerto Rico because his family's from Puerto Rico, right? his parents. We were like, uh, have you been to Puerto Rico? And he's like, not since before I was born. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those dudes don't go. I think it's Jay's first time traveling outside the U.S., period. Is yeah. it really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm excited to see Nicky Rod on this fucking flight. I remember on the way back from Portland, we had a, a red eye flight, and I sat right next to him. He could not <laughs> stop moving for the <laughs> entire flight, bro. Dude. Like, we got to drug him, eh? Yeah. He, uh, <laughs> we went on a tour with him, and I remember Hector would buy like just the cheapest flights. And you know those little planes that just have like two seats, two seats, and that's it? Like, it's just the middle. It's like super tiny. You'd see him just sitting down like this. It's like, some poor soul next to him, like having zero space. And I'm like, damn, he's a big motherfucker. Yeah, he didn't really like to travel on that tour for sure. One of the funniest things I've ever heard him say was when he was talking about being on a flight with John Danaher. And he said, John just sat down and then just looked at the tray table for the entire flight. Fuck. He was like, he went into airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Fuck, that gun's funny, eh? Yeah. But yeah, you've. Where have you been? You've been to the UK. Oh, you've been through Europe and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. I traveled throughout Europe. Me and Ethan went on like a two-month-long seminar tour uh, in Europe after uh, 2017 ADCC. So I've seen a lot of Europe. Been to Thailand. Been to Singapore like two or three times. That's pretty much pretty much it. Japan. Yeah, Japan's so cool. Japan's probably my favorite spot I've ever been, I think. Hmm. It's going to be a good time. Where have you? Have you you've been out of the country, right? Yeah, Italy, um, Ireland. But not like you guys, like fucking, you guys have fucking gone to sick places. You travel a lot. So for you to say Tokyo is one of the best places you've been to. You went there as a kid, right? Uh, like middle school, yeah. Middle school, fuck. Rich kid traveling the world, man. I wish it was rich kid. <laughs> not <laughs> easy, mate. Not easy. I got, a, I got an aunt that works for Google in Ireland, so she hooked it up. Really? Oh, I mean, still rich family? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Rich family. We could say that. Middle class for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of... Rich, you never worked a job before, eh? <clears throat> we got the the field of terror. <laughs> got that as as my job. <laughs> I'm gonna use the joke I said yesterday. Field of terror is actually how you describe your childhood. <laughs> That's not actually a job. <laughs> yeah. Tell me. So as far as I know, you were. This is like a true Hollywood story where someone saw you in a crowd somewhere and was like, "Wow." We could use this kid for the field of terror. <laughs> we don't even need to give him a costume, mate. <laughs> no, 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 no. The owners of the field of terror. I actually used to work at the daycare center that my parents used to bring me to. So that was how they, that was the connection. My mom used to do it. Uh, my brother did it. And then. Uh, how old were you when you did this? I was 13. But you were still at daycare. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So they saw you at daycare and 10 years later, yeah. like, oh, yeah. this is the guy. <laughs> Where's he that? He was have eyes looking motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Call him in for the field of terror. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude. Dude, that was the shit. It was just. Fucking only on the weekends. I was like 13. You get paid like two grand for the month. Jeez. That's a lot of money. I mean, yeah. Was... <laughs> Freddie's like, is that they still hiring? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's not fucking far off of how much I make. I'm fucking good. That's some, <laughs> some long go nights though. And it gets cold as fuck there. So you're there till like four in the morning and it's like fucking yeah. freezing. It's seasonal. So obviously you're just working through Halloween season. Yeah, right? through Halloween season. Yeah, it starts out like I think it's initially like the first month or so. It's just like saturday sunday and then they work all the way up for thursday through sunday so i'd have to do that shit get home at 4 a.m wash all the makeup off and then uh, go to school <laughs> <laughs> you still do that yeah. <laughs> no no no, no, no. hasn't changed much yeah, how yeah. funny would it be to get this guy 
talk to the people from uh, In and Out and be like, let's have him work Put for him, a day, and we film it. Shift, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't film like The Office. That'd be so you were funny. About thirteen when you were like school. That's enough of that. Eh? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I tried to let my parents. Uh, try to convince my parents to let me drop out at 13 and they weren't having it. And then 14, they're like, all right, you're old enough now. <laughs> John convinced them, right? What? Was it John that convinced them? Um, no, it was really just like me and like Gordon that convinced them. <laughs> <laughs> was there like a match that they were like, all right, fuck it. Like he won this. Like he's probably going to be good at this shit. Um, well, I think, yeah, I think I had placed third in trials. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, both East Coast and West Coast trials, and then I dropped out so the, the following year. They're like, this kid has a fucking path. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and at twelve, you were three hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I was the same weight I am right now, actually. <laughs> so I was actually a little bit heavier. I was like one seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> like between like 12 to like 14. If only that kid had found nicotine. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> We've got to get him a Zin sponsorship. I don't know if you can endorse. Can you publicly endorse nicotine yeah. brands? Surely, right? Surely. Um, I hope so. Yeah. I'd go for the Mobile Red sponsorship, you know? That's a big money one. So the American Spirits is probably the best. The That's best the biggest one. seller? Dude, probably. I'd waste so much money on Zins. I do need a fucking sponsorship. What would your weekly Zin budget be? This. We actually chatted about this recently. Probably thirty bucks a week, maybe. That's that's, that's maybe nothing, too. Eh? No, that's maybe though. He said maybe. It, it's, it's gotten higher than that. We chatted seen, about this. This guy's face in Europe when he thought he had a full packet of zins left, but he hadn't opened it. And he opened it. There's like two in there. <laughs> <laughs> it ruined his day. Oh, yeah, it, it's it's a sad sight to see when you're on the last sin. All right. <laughs> you could probably get a sponsorship, bro. You just gotta fucking. Try a little harder on social media and shit. You know? That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather pay the 30 bucks a week. <laughs> Let me see if I can remember. He ran me through his day. When I'm not in town, he wakes up about 10 a.m. Yep. If that, sometimes later. <laughs> sometimes a little bit later, yeah. Comes in here, comes to train, shows up to training, goes, and this is what he said. His big decision of the day was, do I eat at home or do I eat out? <laughs> and then he's like, then I get high and play games for the rest of the day. And I was like, fuck, that's a hectic day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you're not doing shit when you get home either, right? Well, are you see, I'm, I'm a busy man, mate. Instructionals, all the T-shirt designs, talking Freddy off the cliff when a single, <laughs> when a single mom doesn't respond to his fucking <laughs> aggressive oh, messages. <laughs> when his single mom goes to Puerto Rico, I say, hey, mate, she'll be back. Uh, Dude, you're just giving it away. <laughs> no, you just gave it away. Yeah, no, you Listen, it. mate, that doesn't narrow it down. Single moms in the medical industry, where do they go to holiday? They go to Puerto Rico. You know? <laughs> I'm so fucked. I'm cutting this out. <laughs> you gave it away, mate. You gave it away. Oh, fuck. Um, but yeah, that's his day. So obviously, you're telling him to do social media. Where's he going to fit that in? Yeah, uh, I don't got time for that dude, shit. I went to his house before the Wiz Khalifa concert. This motherfucker really does watch chess, like Twitch accounts to get better at chess. Bro, it's Freddie's account. <laughs> he says I look like this guy. <laughs> but this guy is like, he looks like. We fully convinced Gundel yesterday, by <laughs> no the way, way, at our house that you had a, that you had a chess account. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you saw how bad I was at chess, dude. I literally lost to Sal in like <laughs> yeah. five minutes. So it was, yeah, I'm not See, a... I looks like he would be eating pieces of chess. <laughs> 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 That is the extent. He, of he his surprised chest me. Out. He fucked me up pretty quick, but then he fucked Sal up pretty quick, so it didn't make me feel that bad. Um, <clears throat> these guys seem to be like fucking little pro chess players. And now things. I'm imagining me messing Nikki, being like, "Hey, we need to do this," and he's like, just looks at his phone, puts it down, looks back at the guys playing chess on Twitch. Hey. <laughs> Most of the time, when people message me, that's what's yeah. happening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's so fucked, dude. I just know how the pieces move. I don't know anything else. Like I don't know any strategy. We, we, me and Gunnar Nelson, when we took the photo for the podcast, we, there was a chessboard there and we're like, let's just look smart. Let's just move <laughs> the pieces around. And people were trying to analyze like if that was a real game or not. Really? Oh, that's funny as fuck. <clears throat> Gunnar looks like he plays uh, chess. Gunnar, how funny. J-Rod really thought that was Woody Harrelson. Dude, I was dying when One I saw that story. I was like, he things. can't be serious right now. Woody Harrelson's 72 years old. <laughs> Gunnar Nelson's 35, maybe 36. I'm in Iceland <laughs> at an MMA gym. He and had, he thinks I've run into Woody House and we've decided to do a podcast together. He had no idea who Gunnar Nelson was, period. 
Bro, he didn't know who Huffer Mendez was. <laughs> Dude, the best story was uh, we were at the um, event the day Leandro Lowe died. And yes. he was like looking at the post. He's like, who is this guy? <laughs> oh, like almost God. inconvenienced by this memorial service. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, you better fucking study some of these guys. <laughs> yeah, he, he has no idea. Um, many of these guys. Yeah, I had to. So I saw the screenshot of him messaging. He's like, oh, I love this guy. And then I had to message him like, that's not him, dude. I, feel like I had to. I just felt so bad. He's so like young and like impressionable. I was like, that's not him, dude. Yeah. He's like, oh fuck, I didn't know. I thought you just went along with it too. Dude, like, you should have just let it ride for fucking. Sometimes I just fucking feel bad for him. He just had the fucking breakup. You know, like, he, yeah. he's just he's gone through a Bro, lot. That was fucking three months ago, man. He's still going through it. You can yeah, tell. He's still playing the fucking yeah. sad '80s yeah. music he's, in the gym every yeah, day. Yeah. Well, that's what he visualizes when he sees an opponent. He thinks that's another guy stealing a high school girl from him. <laughs> and he goes, hey, that's not on. You know? I'm gonna buggy check you. You know? Yeah, dude, he's a fucking he's a funny kid. But you left high school. Let's go back to this. You left. I don't even know how it works because in Australia, what do we have? We don't have middle school, high school. We just have. Fucking grade school and high school. Yeah, so high school is grade nine to fucking whatever. <laughs> <laughs> to, to 12, uh, to 12. I'm going to see you. Whoa. So middle, middle, he hasn't done this in a long time. Middle school is eighth grade, uh, sixth grade to eighth, and then high school is ninth. That's the hardest twelve. his brain been like this entire week. Yeah, listen, I didn't finish it. Right? We didn't get past grade nine, okay? <laughs> So you were just a freshman. That was the most. So I finished freshman year. Oh shit! And then yeah, man. I remember I was in uh, I was in California. I was out there for like pretty much almost the entire summer, and I was telling my parents, "I'm like, I'm not going back to fucking school. <laughs> like, there's no chance I'm going back to fucking high school." And eventually, they broke and and pulled me out. Yeah. <laughs> you have the same thing. approach as a girlfriend would, you know? Like if you just annoy someone every day with something eventually that it's like fuck it okay okay you're out of hey it, it fucking it worked out <laughs> <laughs> so this is at 14 yes yeah. 14 i dropped out 14 at 14 you're still living in jersey with your mom mm -hmm. and you'd make the commute to the city every day yeah yeah, yeah. go up there every day it's like a fucking terrible commute hour and a half each way <laughs> <laughs> Those are the hardest times of his life. Eh? You guys drove or you guys took a train and shit? Uh, mostly drove. Okay. There was like a little era where we were taking the train. That was fucking terrible. That had to have been the worst. Bro, we'd go to Newark. We'd drive like 45 minutes to Newark, fucking park there, walk past 100 homeless people, no. uh, 100 aggressive homeless people. Now we only walk past 20. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've improved. Yeah, that, uh, that food bank is, is ruining this parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking settle down. Go to <laughs> <laughs> No, it's too hot for them. It's too hot here for them to be aggressive. I feel like they just, if they move too fast, they'll just get a heat stroke. If it wasn't for that food bank, Freddie wouldn't be alive. <laughs> yeah, you know, and Gundel some, too. Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> you know, it's crazy that it's a food bank, but literally I see like Tesla cars pull up to get fucking yeah, food groceries. Yeah, I do see a lot of luxury cars <laughs> pulling up to this food bank. I have no idea how this shit works. But, yeah, but I, most of the people that get those luxury cars are fucking idiots, you know? <laughs> yeah. So there's a good chance that they just don't know how to spend money. You think well, they give me groceries that I pull up on my bike? I reckon, yeah. You? Yeah. <laughs> there's a give chance, you extra. So. Yeah, yeah. Have him on the, sit on the handlebar. So. <laughs> You're a bit top heavy, but you got it done. <laughs> You're like, dude, I, I'm, I was shocked. Yeah, I see some trucks pull up, and I'm like, these guys don't need free vegetables. Yeah, but they fucking do it. They do it. <laughs> You're a big vegetable guy, hey? Vegetables? Nah, nah, nah. A yeah. little bit. Every now and then. This yeah. guy doesn't open the fridge. He should get his blood work done. You got your blood work done? Uh-huh. Shockingly my, healthy. Yeah. Ex yeah. Despite I mean, my, what you look my like. cholesterol is a little, a little high, but not oh, Nicky Rod Me high. too, me too. But my, my test, high as fuck, <laughs> natty boy, for real. Both of us were within the natural range of testosterone, <clears throat> you know? For Which, my, if you're in the natural range, to me, is a, a deficit. You're in a deficit. You need to bump those numbers yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I got a – actually, I just got a text. The box, the advertising box is in my mailbox. It's there right now? Right now. Yeah. We'll probably film your first injection. Eh? As long as you guys are the ones doing it, for sure. 
Can you, you just bite the pillow, you'll be okay. Like all bite time. the pillow. <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty interesting. It's just peptides and shit, you know? It'll be fun. Yeah, I reckon you should have to do it the old fashioned way. Get the biggest needle possible, stick it straight into your quad, you know? <laughs> that sounds awful. That's, that sounds that's terrible. Builds, that builds mental strength, you know? Yeah, something's about to have fucking happen. We'll see. I did bring. Like um, I salvaged on my way from Nashville, one of the little things I was able to grab was uh, not a first aid kit, but like the needle disposal thing. Yeah, all of them. So she uh, she had bought a lot of them to drain ears and stuff, and I just fucking kept them. So I do have a lot of needles actually to drain ears. Yeah, I mean, no mm-hmm. one's questioning you. Let's be honest. <sighs> no one's questioning me for real. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're trying. To, I'm trying to think of the best Nicky Ryan stories I have. No. One other good story was you had a car in Puerto Rico. For two years, right? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so it was stuck in Puerto Rico for two years. That's crazy. I'll give you yeah. some reprieve on that because of just how hard Puerto Rico is to get anything done. Yeah, I despise that place with a passion. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I was the first one to break. You were, yeah. All I, these guys, oh, I come dude. in one day and it's been six weeks and I still can't access my mailbox. And these guys are like, it's just fucking Craig. Eh? Dude, he would call <laughs> me and just fucking complain. And He's then like, one by one, <laughs> yeah, these guys would have one issue. <laughs> and just the fucking dominoes would fall away. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, the fucking last straw for me was going to the fucking Starbucks, being the only person in there, ordering a black coffee, and it taking forty five minutes for me to get my coffee. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's... Little things that built up over What's time. What's wild is if this guy worked at Starbucks, that's how long it would take you to get your coffee. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the one place he could keep his job would be in Puerto Rico. <laughs> That was that was a shit show. You remember that we went to that breakfast joint and we were like one of the first ones there. They took our drink order. Then like ten minutes pass and ten people come in. They take their drink order and they get their drinks before us. Wow, dude, wow. crazy! <clears throat> I thought you were fucking exaggerating, but it is. Yeah, this crazy. guy, I'm calling him complaining. He's like, ah, you don't speak Spanish. That's yeah. what it is. Comes down five minutes. It's like I fucking hate this. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. I think the first night. Me and Hector weren't allowed into our rooms because we oh, didn't get a this. vaccine shot. But it was never like stated that we needed to. Um, so, dude, we slept in the lobby of a hotel like first night. I was like, dude, I hate this place. I've never met a group of individuals that's work ethic was so high to finding ways of not doing work. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like they put more work effort yeah. into not doing their job. Yeah, That's actually requiring more energy and effort than actually just doing their <clears throat> job. They're more motivated for like beer than they are money like I, I remember i remember mo's brother like they were moving into the new house and then uh he's like he's like i'll pay you extra if you, if you hurry up all of them are just like sitting on their phones not doing shit and he's, he he goes out buys a case of beer brings the beer up and he's like if you guys work hard to get this they fucking they went right to work that's fucking funny eh? that's so good yeah weird weird little island um it's good good to be out of there I've only been back one time, and back—I mean, back for a short time is good, you know. Yeah, good place to visit, not to live. No, tons of places are like that. Great to visit, but you don't know what it's like until until you live there. And again, I would complain and get no sympathy. I really thought you were just fucking around, or like the, the, it was. I'm like, it can't be that bad. You're living in paradise, but yeah, I visited. I was there for like a week, and yeah, it was fucking terrible. I remember, I mean, we go through Nicky Ryan's day as it is today. If he had, could have that day in Puerto Rico, the fuck would be brilliant. <laughs> 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 fucking. That was... Training would last forever down there, hey? Yes, yeah. And we would, no matter where we went, we would always find a way to make it like an hour-long commute no matter what. It's like we move out of New York, we're like, fuck yeah, I'm not going to have to do this long-ass drive. Go to Puerto Rico. Go to a gym that's an hour away. I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> What's going on? And it would be an hour. Like, you'd have traffic problems down there. I remember, like, I would get stuck in traffic sometimes, and I would realize the guy in front of me has pulled over to have a conversation with, like, the road worker on the side of the road, asking for directions and shit. And I'm like, but <laughs> this is why I'm stuck in traffic? Yeah. <laughs> I was at breaking point, eh? That place broke me so fast. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I remember when we uh, we decided to come to Austin. It was like <clears throat> right after the Dante match, and I was like, I am paying somebody to move all of my shit for me. I am not going back to that <laughs> fucking island. 
Dude, what it took two so it took two years for you to get your car back here, right? Yeah. That's crazy. And obviously that's Nikki working on it every minute. Of every <laughs> you know what I, mean? I actually didn't do jack shit for it. I had my mom and Moses assistant do everything. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking came away with some some valuables though. They stole I feel like Yeah, what they still like you cut your bones, right? Oh yeah, dude. I was missing like two grand worth of shit, dude. I had like an eight hundred dollar uh sub in my trunk. I had a uh, The volcano. Like, uh, a volcano, yeah. another eight hundred dollars, an eight hundred dollar bong Jesus. in there, and I just it's just gone. I have no idea where it is. Yeah. Mickey Ryan's full investment into the smoke shop community. Eh? <laughs> yes, yeah. I feel like at that point, what you lost is probably as expensive as the car. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Fuck. You spent enough in Ubers to probably buy a new car, to be honest. You know? <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, dude, yeah. You live fucking <laughs> far from the gym. Right? It's not that far. It's like 20 minutes. Everyone lies minutes. about how far they live, eh? I like, so. I live eight minutes away, but I tell people I live four minutes away. <laughs> Mickey Ryan lives 150 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> it's just less painful when you say, you know, you're like, oh, it's not 20 minutes, it's like 15. I'm like, no, it's like 25 minutes. But the problem is, when I drive to your house, I feel like I need a truck. I'm like off roading, there's fucking potholes on one of those roads. Hey, Dude, those the roads? roads, the roads near my house are fucking rough for sure. Yeah. There's, there's, once you get to your area, it's good. Yeah, east But there's of, yeah. this middle section where I'm like, my car's gonna fucking. Like, it's a low car, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, your car barely... Jay almost it. died trying to drive his fucking lowered car in my house. <laughs> his car is... Uh... He heard the high school was fucking operating that way. <laughs> so yeah. we'll find a way. There is but... a school right near him, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you got to stop making these jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're definitely not fucking... We got to cut that in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Leave it in, leave it in. <laughs> we won his match last night, we take it out. <laughs> is the bagel here? Uh, there are some on the way oh fuck man but um yeah i feel bad for jay's jay's car is like generally expensive he like just left it in jersey for no reason bought a shit 90 92 truck dude there's anything i've learned when if someone's from jersey and they tell you a story and it doesn't make any sense don't ask any questions <laughs> because you will not get to the bottom of that story yeah <laughs> i never did realize why he just never brought it down Jer- jersey all right so like let's look at it in terms of U.S. states, how does Jersey stack up? You know, like I consider it like Alabama or something like that. Right? <laughs> Listen, there's shitty areas of Jersey and then there's nice areas. Where I lived was nice. What, what about the cities? I'm trying to think of the cities. I only know them because there's a friend. I won't say his name, but uh, he's a trader. He didn't he didn't move with us. But um, I know cities in Jersey just because from the prostitute, prostitute stories he would tell us. Like I'd, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd randomly message him and I'd be like, where are you? And he'd send me pictures and he'd name a Jersey city and there'd be like claw marks on the wall and stuff like that. <laughs> Maybe he was dating a homeless yeah. woman. <laughs> yes, yeah, I remember that. This guy, a little shack down story. by the river. If this, this guy story told his stories, bro, he would be so famous. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah, that's a funny story. His I mom remember. would uh, not speak to him anymore. Really? But like uh, he could pretend oh, he's yeah. joking. You know? <laughs> yeah. But that, let me think of some j- cities in Jersey. Like, let's go through some. What, what are they like? Uh, Newark's like the only one I know. Yeah, yeah. like city cities. Uh, yeah, I mean, Atlantic City. Yeah, that's one. AC. Newark. That's pretty rough, eh? Fuck. I actually don't even think I've ever been to AC. Where do they do the Jersey Shore at? Wildwood is sick. It, where? Where do? All right, like? Camden. Dangerous. Camden terrible. Trenton. Fancy. Trenton Dangerous. terrible. Patterson. Dangerous. Oh, I've been there. Atlantic City, dangerous. Newark can be pretty dangerous. Newark, yeah, Newark's definitely dangerous. Really? All of these places, bro. New Brunswick should be a nuclear test site. You know what I mean? <laughs> New Brunswick. I was. I lived like yeah, like fifteen minutes from New Brunswick. I feel like you can smell it on someone when they're from New Jersey. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's an odor that only. <laughs> yeah. Listen, don't you shit on Jersey, all right? I grew up, and we did watch. The Jersey Shore from Australia, right? But it was more like a fucking, I was like, are those people real? And then I lived in New York and I was like, fucking, they are real. They exist. <laughs> yeah. they. Well, there's, there's definitely a lot of those, those kinds of people out there. And Gosh. then everyone would judge people that, like, if you didn't live in New York City, you know what I mean? But, and you were from the Jersey side, you were like, they hated you. You were like lepers, disgusting. <laughs> yes. you know? They thought you were like some of the poorest people. On Earth. <laughs> yes. so the judgment was so strong <clears throat> and I agree with them and then when I moved to Hoboken they lumped me in and I was like hey I can see Manhattan motherfucker <laughs> yeah. don't lump me in with these fucking Jersey people you know? listen Jersey would never take you as one of those <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> thank god thank god for that yeah. eh? 
Thank God. Breed sucking champions. You got you got me. <laughs> you got Nicky well, Rod. Apparently, Nick Seriano. Jordan Burroughs is from there. I mean, who knew all it took was some inbreeding to get some champions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never. I don't, how does how did it become such a good wrestling state? Like, like what? What the fuck else are you gonna do but wrestle? I mean, I feel like wrestlers should be like all in the Midwest, you know, like picking up like hail and shit. And but those guys up. have things to do. That's true. You know I mean, guess, they got yeah. farms to fucking work on. Look at this guy, bro. He's at the field of terror. <laughs> yeah, that was a farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I, I don't. I think I've only been to Jersey once. I went to like a finishers event, um, or was that in Philly? I don't even know. I think, I think they were in Jersey. Yeah, Some because Patterson sounds super familiar. The Naga World Championships were in Jersey. Yes, they that were. Was the only, actually, I won Purple Bell Worlds, but that was another world. That was in that was in Wildwood, I think. The, they would host Wildwood? them. Yeah, Wildwood was was a nice part of Jersey. That's where the beach is. There's no good beaches in America. I, right? In America, uh, I agree. Chill. Florida's great. You know what I'm right, Florida, Florida, Florida's, Florida's great, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the water in, in oh, Jersey, Jersey is is yeah. definitely rough. But we got sick boardwalks to make up. <laughs> <laughs> All the teas. Fucking boardwalk. Yeah. Okay. But that's yeah. the thing that blew my mind because everyone in Australia lives. Within probably forty five minutes an hour from the beach, pretty much. So I remember I'd come here, and then I'd meet people that had never been to the beach, or they'd be like, "Yeah, I live pretty close. I live about two and a half hours from the beach." I'm like, "Bro, that's a yeah, fucking that's a trek. That's another civilization away." Yeah, yeah. Guys, B team is now live on Submeta, so you guys are going to have instructors uh, like myself, obviously, Nikki Rod, Nikki Ryan, and unfortunately Ethan Krellenstein as well. This won't be. The typical stuff we put on BGJ Fanatics. Obviously, we'll still have instructional portions where we obviously go over in detail certain techniques, but we'll be providing something different. We'll have narrated rolling. So you'll see roles between uh, each of the high-level guys where we both narrate the role from our own perspective and sort of cover important details in there. It might be the whole role or it might be just one sequence that occurred during that round. We're going to have Q&As. So for now, the students are asking us questions, and we're going to answer those questions for you guys on Submeta. But obviously, down the line, we plan to open these questions up on platforms like uh, Reddit, Instagram. You guys will send the questions, but obviously, you'd have to be a member to get those answers. We'll also feature the techniques we teach in the class, right? So obviously, B-Team, very popular around the world. Not everyone can afford to travel to expensive ass Austin to train here. So this will kind of give you a kind of behind-the-scenes feel as if you're participating in these classes, you really see how the day-to-day -day runs. Uh, this is a better format for Submeta. Obviously, we couldn't put this all this bullshit on YouTube. Uh, it's too long. There's going to be so much content on here. Uh, again, slightly different look to BGJ Fanatics, but it, it'll be uh, very interesting nonetheless. Again, you guys know Submeta through Lachlan Giles. If you don't, now you do know he's on there. That's his own private website. Uh, we'll be using the same platform. So if you just Google B-Team Submeta, it'll pop up. But also, if you're on the regular Submeta page with Lachlan Giles, you should be able to find a pretty easy tab to look over to B-Team. So again, for now, it's just Lachlan Giles, and we're the first team breaking in to this new platform. The platform's incredible. He's done a real good job using developers. Uh, really easy to use system, and it's going to be very, very cheap. Get on there, guys. Live right now. <clears throat> All right, more Nicky Ryan stories. Nicky Ryan. What would you say would be the average time it takes you to release an instructional? Oh, very long. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is what has it been? When did I release my first one? Like two two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. Probably close to two years and I've only released one. So you one. made crazy money off your first one? Yeah. Obviously that's a huge motivating factor for people. It's like, wow, <laughs> if this is a profitable endeavor, let me make another one. But not you. You have a totally different approach, right? Yeah. Zanga had to bet me $2,500 <laughs> in order to force me to make another one. He tried to bet me again. I'm like, bro, you don't need to pay me $2,500 every time I make an instructional. <laughs> what, so what motivates you? You're not financially motivated? I don't, I don't know. I'm just lazy. <laughs> he just likes to have a, like a relaxed life, bro. You know, like... Yeah, uh, as long as it's just covered. wake up 10 a.m. train, yeah. get high, you know how relaxed play chess, video games. He told me he's like, "Yo, Damien's out of town, and like, I he opens the fridge and it smells like shit. He's like, for some reason, some food that's in there that's like fucked up, but 
I'm just going to leave it in there. Two comes back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hey, I looked. I tried to find it for a solid 30 seconds. <laughs> I couldn't find it. And I'm like, oh, that's uh, that's Damien's problem. Yeah. So he didn't open the fridge at all and just Uber Eats. Yeah, like, I never buy groceries. Like, I don't own anything that's in my fridge at my house because I never buy it. And yeah, shoulder Uber Eats every day. So if you lived alone, would you say that your apartment would be kind of like John Danaher's? <sighs> Probably, probably pretty similar. Yeah. Maybe less knives. Yeah, <laughs> less less of those. Do you still have the knives he he gave you? I do. How many did he give you? A lot. I think I got like over ten. Jeez, ten. I think I only got two. Two. Well, he sucks. So. <laughs> hey, hey. I take him out just to to piss Damien off. Has he never got one? <laughs> no, he's never gotten oh, one. Sure. The other day, Sal and Vince were over, and I brought them all out, and he was fucking hella pissed. <laughs> do you do you let him touch him? <laughs> no, no, no. He doesn't yeah, get that privilege. Him. Oh, I wouldn't trust him with a knife. Either. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, you talking about your white privilege over there? <laughs> 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 Typical fucking Jersey guy. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I wish we could tell some Danaher stories, but uh, we'll probably get executed. <laughs> yeah. um, we should, what's, what could we tell? We could probably tell the biggie small security one, eh? <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something he told us that happened, oh. right? It is something that we were told, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say it so skeptically? <laughs> nah, it's all you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if I remember correctly. John told us that he beat up Biggie Small security guards when he was working a security job back in the day. Yeah. That's the, so that's, is that it? Am I missing details there? That's, I was told it a long time ago. I mean, that's as much as I remember. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Eh? I wish he would tell it. I wish you would tell those stories to the public. Eh? That would be crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, wouldn't those guys have guns? They're rapper security guards. Rappers have guns. You have to be able to shoot him. You know, he's pretty fucking elusive. <laughs> <laughs> he's the bullet dodger. Yeah, yeah, the Matrix and shit. Just... His past is kind of an enigma, right? Because he was what a... He used to lecture at Columbia. That's the reason he was in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and then he worked security and then just taught martial arts after that, eh? Yeah, yeah. I just started teaching at, uh, at Hanzo's every day. That's really all I know about him, mate. Yeah, that's um, pretty much on the same <laughs> boat, yeah. That's all anyone knows. Right? Yes, yeah. It's kind of a mysterious figure. Yeah, yeah. I want to meet someone that knew him before he just wore rash guards, you know? <laughs> yes. I also want to talk to like Henzo and say, hey, yo, was there a day he just stopped wearing regular clothes? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, did you guys talk to him? You know, because he, he wasn't. Yeah. Like, obviously, there was a point in his time in his life where he didn't do jiu-jitsu. And that was probably a point in his life where he wasn't exposed to rash guards. Yes. Maybe. I mean, I mean there are photos of him in, like, <clears throat> T-shirts back in the day. That's what I want to know, right? When, like, when did the switch happen? Do they like, surf if, in New Zealand? If Freddie just showed up to the gym one day and he was just wearing rash guards, <laughs> like, if he just stopped wearing T-shirts, I think we'd all have a discussion with the guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, is something wrong? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's fucking funny. Maybe uh, when you get on the TRT, you're a bit more jacked. You'll start wearing tighter clothes. Uh, I'm just going to be shirtless like fucking Nicky Rod. <laughs> <laughs> why, wear, why wear a shirt? What are you trying to say about Nicky Rod? He's just jacked. <laughs> just absolutely jacked. So you're saying you get on the test, you're going to look like Nicky Rod? Dude, people already think we're related. I swear to God. C-Rod. Whisk- yeah, well, they, they call me C-Rod. We've all, we've all heard about that he has a younger sister. Is that what they're important? <laughs> yeah. Don't talk about you like that. <laughs> Don't talk about you like that. The Wizard security guard stopped. I was related to him. They're like, you're the in-between of Jay and Nicky Rod. They call me C-Rod because I was holding the camera. Wait, you're the in-between? Yeah. Are they, saying, are they implying like you? I got the like the that... curly hair and the eyes of Nicky Rod, but I'm little like Jay rod but then what happened to the body? Did you just come out too early? It's just a, mix, a mixture of both. You know, one's jacked, one's skinny. I'm like skinny. But they're fat. both kind of jacked. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Are you saying j Rod's not jacked? Uh, his forearms are jacked. He got some big forearms. Well, he's lonely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. ever, ever since the breakup, he looks Those like Popeyes and got shit. bigger since yeah, the breakup, yeah. yeah. It's a good Significantly, yeah. Put on a good 15 pounds all in the forearms after yeah. that. <laughs> he's all fucking forearms for sure. Yeah, he's like a... It looks like a cartoon version, like Popeyes and shit. How many times a week would you say you roll with J Rod? 
With Jay, I mean, it's gone down now. Yeah. He's a <laughs> he's a big boy now. Yeah. Well, I don't know that intimately. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my knees can only handle. Try so a new, try much. a different position. <clears throat> I've done everything with Jay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can end Jay gets it. super <laughs> sad that no one rolls with him. Sometimes he's like, he'll sit in the corner and fucking really like cry it out. So no one wants to roll. Yeah, well, he'll also see me and Craig try and kill each other <laughs> and then come over after doing a fucking flow round with the fucking homeless man, Gordon Gundle, <laughs> and then ask us to roll. And we're like, fuck off. No. Hey, calling Gundle homeless is an insult to homeless people. <laughs> oh, my God. They have better hygiene. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> Dude, we pulled up and he's, uh, we pulled up to the gym today and he's literally making coffee out of the back of his car. <laughs> then he starts talking about fresh cow's milk. Raw, he, raw milk. Raw milk. Raw milk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. If you always take a look at a guy, like, oh, this is the thing with people doing weird diets and health shit. I always look at their life and I think, like, that's the top priority, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the type of milk you're digesting. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if we looked at your life, I wouldn't say, hey, fuck, number one. You, you should be drinking raw milk. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's always guys talking to me about cold plunges and shit. I'm like, of all the things you're doing in your life, you're telling me cold plunges are top priority. <laughs> you know? It's like a very fucking good distraction from yeah. the real... I'm not know. saying Gundo has issues, but he does have a blow dart. He has a fucking blow dart. Yeah, he's definitely got some issues. All of us from Florida have gone through some shit. He's from North Florida. He's gone through some shit. Dude, yeah, he has some, some crazy stories <laughs> yeah. from back in Florida. Yeah, yeah so, I mean... Good thing all we have to worry about is his blow dart and raw milk because it Dude, could be worse. There's videos of Gundel like uh, hammered yeah. and just letting his friends tase him. <laughs> I've seen the videos Why before. Why the fuck doesn't he let us tase him? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's a different part of it. He went to school where I went to school in Tallahassee, but he actually went to Florida State University. I went to the community college. Wait, you're telling me he got better grades than you? 100%, yeah. That's interesting. No, that's pretty bad. Doesn't he speak Arabic? He does. He does speak Arabic. Right? Cor- correct me if I'm wrong, but I was actually under the impression that this guy, Gundo, showed up to Puerto Rico because we were there and just moved there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He, he moved used to there. Be fat. He, used to, he used to be fat. And then in college, I think he, or at, right after college, something like that, he lost all the weight. And then, uh, yeah, he moves to Puerto Rico. And uh, I think he, I was there that day. He showed up to the gym, thought he could just come in. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know that he wasn't going to be able to train with us. So then he uh, he's like broke, has like no money, is living on the roof of somebody else's house. Wow. Yeah, they have like a little fucking outdoor area and it's hot as fuck in Puerto Rico. Yeah. He's living on the roof of somebody else's house. And I think he started taking privates with, with uh, Damien. I remember the first time I met Gundam, I taught a seminar at, uh, at Combat and uh, – Damien was teaching him private. So he's like, hey, this guy wants to come to your seminar. Like, can you give him a ride? I'm like, yeah, no worries. I'll I'll go to Damien's house. I pick him up. And first time ever meeting the dude, he immediately starts telling me about how he's trying to convince all of his coworkers at this Puerto Rican factory to start a cock fighting ring. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, Damien, what the fuck did you get me into? I got a 45-minute ride there with this guy, a 45-minute ride back. This is trying to convince me to get in this cockfighting ring with him and his Puerto Rican factory co-workers. He's absolutely one of the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. We get a lot of people in jiu-jitsu that are just out of their minds, eh? <laughs> Puerto Rico, like this is why it was such a strange experience. Two of the people down there completely lost their minds. So. Yes, yeah, yeah. Was it uh, Drew? And then, Drew off the deep end. I remember Gary Tonin telling me like uh, he'd wake up in the night and Drew would be looking at him asleep and shit like that. Dude, yeah. Like, oh, that's, that's weird. He went through like, yeah, <laughs> he went through some crazy faces for sure. I remember towards the end, like <clears throat> but like right before we, we, we booted him, he uh, he would like come up and say goodbye to us like six times in a row in the time span of two minutes. He'd be like, all right, good to see you. Have a good one. Turn around, walk back. Good to see you. Bye. I'm like, what, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> and then Tesla kind of lost his mind as well a bit, eh? Yeah, yeah. I remember driving down and training's going on. I'm like late as fuck one day. And one I day, just yeah. see Tesla like <laughs> dancing with his headphones on outside the gym. And I'm like, what is going on? I would see that, but I would always assume he wasn't playing any music. Right? Yeah, because he, he does. He dances to no music. Like John will be teaching uh, class, and I'll just see Tesla over in the corner doing this <laughs> with his fingers and shit. He he was a smart dude. Didn't he make tons of money off crypto? 
I, that's, that guy's that guy's the most mysterious man I, I've ever met. I have, I think he invested in crypto. I have no idea. Our, so I was randomly doing a seminar in somewhere in Europe one time, and the guy there was like, "Yeah, Tesla just moved into my house for six months, really connected with my kid and stuff." And I was like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening there?" Like, but Tesla, I remember him telling me a story about your brother and his crypto investment. Do you remember this? Oh, with the book, <laughs> dude. This guy. Yeah. He could fucking do anything, and I'll respect him because this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. He invested ten thousand dollars of Gordon's money. Again, I tell you, I, honestly, Gordon's probably in the right here, but the story is so funny. <laughs> yeah. that I just yes. he invests ten k of Gordon's money into what was the crypto? It was uh, some some crypto. It was either like Ethereum or Bitcoin. One of the that two. was a more obscure one. It was uh, I, f- I forget the name uh, of it. So he invested. It ter- he turns it into a hundred k. Gordon wants his money back, but Gordon had made a promise. Tesla said, hey, I'll invest the money for you. I won't take any money, but you've got to read a book. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Right? Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> when Gordon asked for the money back, Tesla was like, uh, this was, they were messaging each other. Tesla's like, no, nah, have you read the book? And he's like, no. Nah. So Tesla's like, all right. And Liz physically sent him a puzzle book. And he's like, solve some puzzles. <laughs> right, I actually didn't even know that. I'll give you your money back. <laughs> oh my so God. that money's just gone. Like he probably tried to get it out at the top, but now it's not worth as much. <laughs> yeah. And Tesla has just disappeared off the face of the earth. No one knows where he is, and no one knows how to contact him. With that hundred thousand dollars for sure. <laughs> Tesla, I remember he went to Tasmania in Australia because I ran into him in Melbourne. We did a couple of training sessions. He was touring Australia, and Tasmania is a pretty barren place. So there's a couple really small cities by Australian standards there and it's just the wilderness and he like looks at me seriously he's like do you think four weeks will be enough time hiking around exploring I'm like bro that's a fucking long time to be in the woods by yourself like what are you doing down there like, very unsettling that's right? worried for sure <laughs> if people were already on the edge of insanity Puerto Rico pushed them over the edge oh dude yeah but he got his black belt down there and then that was it no one's heard from him since. Yeah, I have, have not seen or heard from him since, yeah. We don't even know if that was his real name, Matthew Tesla. No, nah, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> a good Tesla story for me was um, first time I ever met this guy and I realized how insane he was. I was going to compete against him. We are doing a tournament in Florida of all places. The winner got a gun, like a fucking AR-15, which at the time I couldn't even have. Like I, was, I had to fly <laughs> yeah. back to Australia. What am I going to do with it? And I thought it would be funny to win. I go to compete against Tesla and we're waiting to go out. And the match before is like uh, two, a kid's match between two girls. And one of the girls submits the other one. And the dad gets so excited. He jumps in the air, screams, lands on the ground, rolls his ankle. And he's rolling around in pain. I'm crying with laughter. And I like look at Tesla. I'm like, yo, did you see that? And he's just he's like, dead serious. Yeah. And I was like, that's funny, bro. What the fuck's up with <laughs> What the fuck did you do with the fucking with the AK? I didn't win. So I faced Tesla. I beat him in regulation. I was getting good positions. And then because he just smashed me in overtime. Um, and then I think he beat Jason Round in the final. Might have even been a fake match. Mm. But we had a good match. And I remember Tesla was the guy. It was ADCC 2017. And he was telling the DDS guys yes. that I would do well. And they like they were like, no. Bro, no. yeah. I, re- I remember this, dude. He was telling me that he's like, he's like, watch, Craig's going to do really well. I'm like, bro, that guy fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, I saw that man have Nate Orchard in a triangle for nine minutes straight. And then Nate Orchard get out and he'll look. I'm like, hey, he's, he's resilient. <laughs> I'm like, this guy fucking sucks. There's Wait, no the way. record, it was a flying triangle. <laughs> yeah. It was a good setup. No fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, somehow he fucking... Pulled it out of your ass. But te- <laughs> Tesla comes up to me at breakfast the day I faced Leandro Lowe, and he's like, he looks at me serious. He's like, come with me. He's like, what's your game plan? And I was like, pull guard. <laughs> and then he's like, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> but then he started, like, he had the fucking um, tablecloth down. He was using fucking salt and pepper to talk about strategies for playing the edge and shit. And I was like... <laughs> Bro, this is way above my <laughs> level of knowledge. Like, like yeah, you're thinking yeah. about the boundary? Yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking about the boundary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about not embarrassing myself <laughs> primarily. Holy shit, what a fucking... But, I mean, obviously, super intelligent guy knowing the talent he faced <laughs> oh, yes. on the map. He, he recognized similar brain capacity, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy shit, yeah. And then the funny thing about what happened to that ADCC was, so I beat Leandro, beat Murillo, day two, come out. 
overconfident. <laughs> <laughs> Flying triangle Marilla the day before. Go for a couple more the next day. Definitely cost me. <laughs> Definitely cost me. I think I'm done for the day. I'm at the bar drinking beers and your dad's there. I'm drinking with your dad. He has no idea that I'm even competing. In this event. <laughs> he just thinks I'm another guy drinking. Red red red. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to him. He's saying some of the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. A girl walks past and he like reaches out, grabs her hair and goes. <laughs> and then he's like, I like the way you smell. Like, oh, she my runs God. away. <laughs> Jeez. And then Mo appears and Mo's like, hey, do you want to do the absolute? And I'm like, bro, I'm drinking. Yeah. And he's like, what if I give you Chael's son? And I was like, I'm in. <laughs> and then I beat Chael. And then your dad, who probably didn't remember at the time, sees me he would have been watching Gordon compete yeah. and he would be like fuck I was just drinking with this guy <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny oh, yeah. holy shit that Finland one was crazy bro that was a crazy ADCC that was a good time I booked a bunch of seminars before that event weren't selling that well <laughs> at that event yeah. they all sold out I was like yes. yeah your fucking your inbox must have been crazy after the that fucking at least the first day for sure Thursday, yeah. I was so broke at the time too. Like I flew in Thursday from Australia. It was like a 35-hour journey. Jesus Christ. So then I compete on Saturday. Wake up at 2 a.m. on Sunday, wide awake. Me and Shay were actually at the bar just pounding coffee, both of us super jet lagged. And then we <laughs> end up competing against each other. Oh, dude, what the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> Fucking absolutely horrible. And now you can't be fucked to travel. Now you're just like... I'm traveling all the time. I don't want to do it, but someone's got to do it. But you do it like the good lazy, you, you know? do it the good way now. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I fucking despise traveling so much. <laughs> Why do you hate it? I just I like to be in my routine. I like to train here, get high, play video games. <laughs> right, but you can train, get high, watch chess anywhere in the world. Well, now we're on the chess thing, so it's yeah. a little bit different. It's not as bad now. And now we're going to Tokyo. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be playing fucking chess the entire flight over there. <laughs> Tokyo. And yeah, that'll be interesting, eh? Joseph, who will be the youngest, is probably more well-traveled than you, Nicky Rod, and Jay Rod, eh? Yeah. I used to love traveling. Until when? Ladyboy? <laughs> what? That one ladyboy time, eh? <laughs> you should not. <laughs> Uh, all the way up until... <laughs> uh, that was in Jersey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> That's been back since. All the way up until I did the two-month tour with Ethan. And then I was like, I never want to leave home again. Two months is a long time on the road. Yeah. yeah. And it was like every every week we were in like a different city. And yeah. so it's just, yeah, living out of a backpack, I fucking hated traveling Pretty after But was it mostly just being around Ethan for so long? That was also bad. <laughs> I'm a fucker talks in his sleep both him and his brother talk in their sleep he probably interrupts himself while he's sleeping <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dude i remember uh liam was sleeping on my couch and uh back in jersey i used to also sleep on the couch because it was too hot in my room so he's on one couch i'm on the other and uh <clears throat> i'm still awake he's he's knocked out and i just remember him in his sleep saying Look at it, you little bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, Liam, dude. Did that uh, sexually arouse you? <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's how you like to be that's, spoken that's to. That's J Rod's <laughs> rage, F H, okay? Poor Liam, you got to drag his name through the mud after he gets his leg broken by a woman. Hey. Uh, I wonder whose fault that was. Yeah. Hey, I said we could put a stop to this anytime. <laughs> Yeah. And you said no, this kid's going in. <laughs> That's in. not true. Dude, that video is fucking That crazy. video went really bad for us, actually. Yeah, a, lot of, <laughs> yeah. a lot of stuff happened. I was like, video. I don't think this is a good idea to post this. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fun edit, but definitely. It was mostly your fault. No one else would edit it. We lost the female athlete over it as well. <laughs> yeah, we did. And we also yeah. lost Liam for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Liam lost himself for yeah. a while. Yeah. Man. He looks homeless now. He's got like a shitty beard. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he's probably depressed, dude. He can't even fucking train anymore, you know? Like, you fucking ruined this hey, was that year. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Putting fingers around here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a collaborative effort. You know? He looks so scared in that video. He's like, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I remember the most awkward part about that was like, Liam's obviously Jewish. And the female athlete was uh, German. So I was, like, <laughs> I was like, bro, you bring him back some fucking well-born <laughs> you know, like, Oh, my God. 
our, our family history. Today. I remember <laughs> I made a meme about that, and I used uh, Inglorious Bastards scene when it's like, you got yourself, you you got a deal. Yeah, I got a deal. And then it's just like, people are commenting, like, oh, this is bad taste. Like, he's Jewish and she's German. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I got in trouble for that one. <laughs> That's good, though. You want to get in trouble for it a bit, but get away with it, largely. You know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I could get away with anything at this point. I yeah, think. You've, you've, you've made it yes. pretty far. After the one title of that instructional, <laughs> you could say anything that you wanted. Yeah. And you will never get canceled. I remember a Zenga messaged him and I said, how about this for a title name? And I was like, <clears throat> false reap allegations. And he's like, enjoyed the, obviously enjoyed the joke. And then later he's like, what if we change it? And I was like, <laughs> I was like what about false reap accusations? And he's like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> but he, sh- he shut down the latest one though. The latest one, I th- I, we really put a lot of work into this. Oh, it, yeah. got can- it got canned, eh? Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, we we're going to have white lives matter, but like have white in brackets belts. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a beginner one. We're going to have overcoming the systemic oppression of white belts. <laughs> yeah. And Zenga was like, Absolutely. no. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's not as bad as the one you allowed previously. Yeah, I feel like the, the previous one is definitely yeah, worse. They're both on the same level. Bad. Especially with the timing yeah. of the previous one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, there's always scandals in this yeah. sport with shit, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there's a crazy one right now. Fucking, um, fucking Herbert, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. I actually forgot about that. He just got arrested, right? Yeah. yeah like, burglary not... and fucking rape now. Like a yep. string of burglary yeah. and, oh, and rape. I, I think it was, it was just like a multiple. One time. Yeah. Holy Dude, shit. Dude, that guy was so good. He had that crazy match with Philippe Penner where he like breaks Penner's arm. Yeah. And then Penner comes back and chokes him. But then weird shit outside happened. Like he peed himself. He peed himself. In a match. Yeah. Yeah. He tap when they get in a bad position, yeah. which I think is yeah. totally reasonable. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he he like, me, fucking, you got it, man. He like <laughs> ran off stage and tried to fight Felipe's brother at, oh, a, yeah. at a Brazilian thing. The jumping kick, right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, the wild shit was there was that thing. I don't even know how much I want to say about this, but it was definitely in the UAE. Did you ever hear about that thing that happened? No. So I could be wrong about this, but they used, when we used to do the Abu Dhabi World Pro, the black belts would stay at a different hotel. You know what I mean? They would like because we're they're giving away tickets and flights to men and women from all around <laughs> the world. Lower belt women, obviously, and then there's the uh, the I don't want to say predatory black belts, but like, <laughs> yeah. there's obviously things going on that shouldn't be going on in that country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you have to be married to be participating in those actions over there. That's true. Uh, but I remember there was that video that popped out where it was like. Herbert and maybe two other dudes and there was like a female athlete involved and it was like it happened in the this. UAE like a oh, wow. like kind of a Jersey thing. <laughs> Jersey. You know I mean? <laughs> Things I've heard that happened in Jersey. <laughs> nah, you know, nah. Not down under, but um <laughs> but yeah, that happened, so that was wild. But Herbert, um Herbert, yeah, burglary. They showed his video. Hey, he's been arrested though. Yeah, like he's a, been arrested. Him I and think somebody else. Multiple rapes and yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was just crazy. One. But I saw his mugshot with another black belt as well. Was like, it another black there's belt? There's two, like him and his and his buddy were two black belts. Damn. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah, he kind of like lost his mind and fell off a little bit. Yeah, he's so like hit or miss yeah. in competition. He was, yeah. It's like it's could beat anyone, could lose to a random dude. Yeah. I can sympathize, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're not on the same trajectory. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. A dark way to end the podcast day. Guys, we'll, uh, we'll move on from Earth and get to some more positive things. Uh, i got to shout out Elvia for the tattoo. We've got another animal in the body. This body is becoming Noah's Ark, you know? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five animals on me now. Yep. What yep. do you got? You got these two? I got this one and then and the, the famous up. Gordon <laughs> Ryan. That's not you, bro. It's Gordon. <laughs> you wish you wish it was going on man. well you got the sleeve yeah I got the sleeve and the uh, half chest piece yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to get something else when we're in Tokyo hopefully mate you better book it though better I know get that organized I know I know well El- LVS said she knows people so awesome. hopefully she word. can uh, hook it up and, and get me in what, there what are you going to get I'm going to get I'm going to get a tiger I, I want to try and get it here <laughs> what are you trying to do here? different different animal all right uh, yeah. I want to try and get a tiger, probably, probably on my forearm. 
Sick, sick. Isn't then, uh, your sleeve, isn't that supposed to be like a Japanese tattoo as well? This, yeah, this is Japanese. Yeah, I got the Hanya, mm -hmm. and then it goes up into like a, it's like a dragon up here. And then eventually I'll get my whole, whole right leg covered. A fucking dragon, mate. A dragon. A fucking sick. Man. Listen, you can't talk <laughs> shit. You got a fucking octopus on your ribs. Oh, we got octopus. We got kangaroo. Kangaroo is like a prison sensor, yeah. though, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's a goddamn. That's like your icon, best tattoo, mate. but the worst tattoo. This is Roger. <laughs> Roger. Roger is an iconic Australian kangaroo that died tragically. <laughs> that also explains my level of strength. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> what explains it. <laughs> Kangaroos are very physically strong. Probably the best genetics of any males on earth would be from Australia, for sure. The craziest shit they do is that they'll just sit in a body of water so you can come in and they can drown you. Oh, yeah. Like, have you seen them chug each other unconscious, though? Yes, yeah. I've seen that's those psychotic, videos. dude. What a psychotic animal. That's fucking sick, bro. That's what, like, they only exist in Australia, right? Kangaroos, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. used to go hiking, hiking. I used to go picking magic mushrooms, and <laughs> I would sometimes run into a big kangaroo, and they well, fucking stare you down, eh? Yeah, you got <laughs> some, some weird animals over there, just being isolated for hundreds of thousands of years. Yep. You built your own weird shit over there. Definitely some strange shit going on out there. Uh, travel, I was just in Shanghai and Iceland. Iceland's a weird place, eh? Hey? Iceland, everyone, it looks like a country of baristas. Like everyone's a hipster out there, right? <laughs> Very strange. I think that's a Scandinavian thing, eh? Hmm. But still, Iceland, yeah, country of baristas. But again, better coffee than America. <clears throat> yeah, America's not the best. Where's There's... the best coffee in Austin? Radio. You reckon? Radio's got the best coffee in Austin, yes, by far. Fucking <clears throat> people try and argue cosmic, but the last... Three times I went to Cosmic, I got shit on by a bird. So, <laughs> so I will never return to that place yeah, ever again. It's supposed to be good luck, bro. <laughs> yeah. Three times in a row, fuck. <laughs> I, remember, I remember I was arguing with Aaron that radio is better than Cosmic. And he's like, no, we're going to fucking Cosmic. Like, All right. And then we both get shit on by birds. He got shit on twice and, and one within the span of 10 minutes. But that's what you're into. <laughs> no, it's not. I thought you shit on like, by birds. really like liking that place. <laughs> no, How no, did no, they no. know to provide a service that you would enjoy? <laughs> it's not just about it. the coffee there. You know? Obviously, yeah. they offer other things. <laughs> no, but that's a good way to end it out. You getting shit on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 when do you boys head to Japan next uh, Wednesday? We're going on Wednesday. Yeah, hopefully you get shit on in Japan. Eh? Yeah. yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, not like that. Man. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to know about that. Eh? <laughs> Fuck. All right, episode fourteen, thirteen, something like third, that. Yeah. Fourteen, close enough. We're getting there. We'll figure it out. He'll be in trouble for this podcast. Eh? Oh, I'm sure. Talking about fucking John Danaher, <laughs> Biggie Small stories like that. Eh? Once the coffee, <laughs> yeah, <was> not me. <laughs> Once the coffee wears down, he's gonna be like, "Can you send it to me so I can listen to it?" <laughs> <laughs> we gotta cut this, 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 this. No, no, this one. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but you laughed. Guilty, guilty, guilty. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the El Segundo Podcast. Don't forget, fuck cry Jones. <laughs> <laughs>